through high school and, and my freshman year of college, uh, I really didn't know what I was going to do. Everybody told me do something that you love, but I always thought if, if you've never done anything, you don't know what you love. So, um, but I knew I loved math and I knew I was good at it. So um, I took accounting classes really just as a, a basic class, an elective that, that I needed to have. And uh, I did really well in the class and, and um, just decided to become an accountant at that point. And, and once I did that, once I became an accounting major, I knew that I wanted to be a CPA. I had a great respect for CPAs. I, I just were aware of some in my hometown and, and I knew that they had a good reputation. The CPA profession had a good reputation. And, and once I decided to become an accounting major, I knew that that's what I wanted to do. I think that there's this perception out there that CPAs work 70 hours during tax season and they sit in their little office um, and are you know, isolated from, from the rest of the world and crunch numbers and there's so much more to being a CPA than just that. And um, I think that's something that's often missed, especially um, on college campuses because I think on college campuses the emphasis is always on public accounting. And um, I think there, there's so many more opportunities for CPAs than just public accounting. I think um, the key to being a great CPA is to, to continue to learn. Um, a lot of people probably have the idea that you get out of college and you, you know everything you need to know. And that's so untrue because uh, even today I'm still learning every day. It's, it's a good thing to have those three little letters after your name.